My name is Santosh and I'm the founder of Smart Heal. I've worked in healthcare for over 14 years across two countries, um, ranging from private to public to government sector. Um, and I came up with Smart Heal when in my last role as a registered clinician, I was investigating one of the complex complaints, again, looking at the wounds. And then I saw myself looking at the same list of basic gaps in wound care. And that's how Smart Heal was born. But if any of you had a wound and I had to measure it, I would actually have a paper ruler over the wound. And if I had to measure the depth of it, I would actually put a dipstick in your wound. So what Smart Heal does is it allows you to take a no-touch photo with your phone camera and it provides you automatic, accurate wound measurements. We also have a vision to simplify a lot of other aspects of wound care such as inappropriate wound assessments, lack of timely referrals and also inappropriate wound products. I worked as a doctor from a very, very young age. I knew I wanted to be in healthcare and the journey in wound started when I saw my nan having a wound and my uncle who's also a doctor. So pretty much a lot of the, my family members in my maternal sides are either doctors, nurses, midwives. I've grown up in hospitals, seen my first delivery at the age of 11 in and out of hospitals. Um, so that's how I started having an interest in um, wounds. I had my own practice at a doctor in India, was out in the media. We had a lot of success with um, some new strategies I would try with my patients. Always wanted to work with NHS and then ended up in Australia. I trained as a nurse here, um, wanted to make a difference. I was always at the back of my mind to make an impact and hence I kept progressing from hospitals, moving into aged care, choosing aged care as my speciality and then working my way up within the aged care from clinician, from as a nurse, to care coordinator, to manager and then ending up in government in that pursuit of making an impact. Um, my last role in the government was as a registered clinician. I also did infection control monitoring visits with aged care quality and safety commission. Um, also worked um, during COVID, um, hands-on as well, and uh, yeah, then I took a little break from my HK Commission role um, as a registered clinician because I was frustrated to see the same gaps and thought, that can't be it, we still can't be doing this, I'm sure. There's a lot that have changed since I've left the practice, and hence I took a break, actually went and worked in a private wound clinic to see how the things were being done and um, yeah, to my surprise and not surprise, it was still at the end of the day, I would sit down after a long day in a hyperbaric chamber and then we will sit down, take photos with a physical camera, rename them um, and do the same old story which we've done for I think 12, 13, 15, 30 years ago. Well, we started about 24 months ago. It was a big leap from a clinician to an entrepreneur because as a clinician, the big thing always in the forefront of your mind is to serve the community, to make a difference, to change someone's life, or even if it's a small difference. Um, and wounds are a big part. Half a million Australians suffer from chronic wounds at any given time, and we end up spending $20 billion um, out of Medicare patients uh, on our Medicare patients alone. Um, how the journey started was with frustration. I always had an interest in wounds. Whenever I had to choose a speciality, it was always wounds. Um, as a matter of fact, I actually wanted to study um, to be a wound specialist at the time. Um, so just looking at the caps and then thinking why I was still doing it. I use my phone camera for everything. I use so much technology and it's actually a core part of my life. But how come we're not using it in health and why is it so difficulty? difficult? Um, so the journey started with pretty much with exploration, thinking is it even possible to take photos and have some sort of automatic measurements and then we pivoted along the way a lot. Um, once we started gathering the facts, once we started talking to the wound consultants, being out there in the ground with our ears and eyes on the ground, there was a mo lot more um, we explored and hence we came up with the problem, just identifying what the problem um, is and then we had to mix it with the entrepreneurship to find out what is it going to be our roadmap, what's going to be our delivery plan, what the startup ecosystem is. Once um, it took us about six months to interview and find the right company who would develop the tech for us and I interviewed 18 companies ranging from Russia to Ukraine to uh, US to India and then finalizing on a local company to build a prototype 
Um, and then we took their user prototype, we tested it for all, over three, four, mo four months um, with wound consultants, podiatrists, nurses, aged care clinicians, um, and even just general PCAs to really work the usability. What I think is a unique IP is the UX or the design that we've built, because quite often with healthcare products, um, what end up happening is it's actually a tech product designed by the technicians for the healthcare people, whereas healthcare clinicians or healthcare providers, we think in a different way. So that seems to be the really good uptake. So the journey's been um, user testing that prototype, and now we've eventually launched our first release uh, last um, month, so mid-September, and we are very fortunate. Um, we've already got um, five organizations on board. We are also working with um, NDIS providers who've expressed their interest in using, and this is like some of the biggest NDIS providers. We're also in conversations with aged care. As a healthcare professional clinician, um, there is always that thing where it's the, it's the forum of service. And when you're actually taking that leap into entrepreneurship, we can have this moral conflict where we think, are we in it for money? But when you look at it, and quite often, and now I've seen this theme in the clinicians who've come out very, very successful, that when as a, as a single clinician, you can only make so much impact. But believe me, when you actually enter the startup world, your impact is actually very, very magnified. So go for it. For women who come from other countries, it, the limit, I know it's a cliche, but as they say, the only limit you put on yourself is you, and that is so, so true. Once I decided in my mind there is no other better person to do this wound care platform, build an AI, know and have a passion for wounds as much as I have, that was it. Um, and the other thing I've realized is how I get work done is have a plan, have a big vision, break it down. Once you put it in your calendar, the only person you have to keep promise is yourself. Just show up, attend those. It's small action. It's like that hourglass, as the Dale Carnegie would say, one thing at a time. And if you keep chipping away, um, it's amazing how much you can achieve within a short span of time. So go for it. Tell yourself the story over and over and over again, why you're the right person to do what you're doing, and why you would take it. So once you know your why, you will make it.